Those are some decent spot welds. Well friends, I'm definitely seeing some room for improvement on the spot welder, so that's what we're up to today. Among the suggestions made to me was, well, this this handle thing, this is a pretty good idea, but it it doesn't always align right. So we're going to rework that. Another suggestion made to me was to be able to place the contacts and then, then energize them separately. So I've got the Singer sewing machine foot switch. That should do nicely for my remote energizing. We'll grab the low hanging fruit first and wire in that foot switch. And then luckily I saved that strain relief from earlier. Test that. The foot switch here has welded itself closed. So that didn't work. And you can see the contact right there. It spot welded itself. <laughs> so let's pull some of this stuff out. In fact, let's pull all of this out. Now this micro switch is good for 15 amps, so that should do. So I've got that micro switch wired in. Now what we need to do is figure out where it's going to strike. That's going to be right there. Now that foot switch is pretty old and it's made of something called Bakelite. One of the cool things about Bakelite is you can drill and tap threads into it. Here I'm drilling a hole to make it easier to access the screw that's going to hold that switch in place. Okay, now let's try that again. Okay, that's working good. So the next thing we need to do is make a new handle, because this one is just not cutting it. I think I want something more rigid. Now I've got some raw materials here. This is some UHMW Ultra High Molecular Weight Plastic. This is some Acetyl, also known as Delrin, which is basically uh, plastic aluminum. And this here is phenolic, which is uh, just a big old block of fiberglass. This is probably the strongest. This is the easiest to work with, but I think I like the phenolic best. So that's what we're going to go with. This is more proof that you never know what you're going to find on this channel, but if you click that notification bell, you'll get a notice every time I post something new. Okay, so I have a hole all the way through there to allow the cable to pass. Now we'll cut out a notch, then we'll cut finger joints in here that will interlock with complementary finger joints we cut into this. Here I'm laying out the pattern for and then cutting the finger joints, which will act like a hinge.
Here I'm drilling a couple of holes to give my return spring a place to rest. Here I'm rounding off the sharp edges to make it a little more comfortable to hold. Okay, so that's much more sturdy. Now the beauty about this phenolic is you can actually drill and tap threads into it. So that's what we're going to do. Now that crimp joint is plenty strong, but I like to add a little solder. Here I had to drive the connector down into the handle because it was sticking out a little bit too far. That is way better than it was. That is much better. Let's try this. Well, that's a pretty good looking spot weld. Those are some decent spot welds. Well, I couldn't be happier with that result. That turned out every bit as good as I had hoped. I'm happy to answer any questions in the doobly-doo below, so please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Click up here to see my last video. Click over here to see something of mine that YouTube thinks you'll like. And have a good one.